Hello and welcome back to another green screen slash blender tutorial. Now uh, today like last time we're going to see how to key out a green screen and how I build uh, a quick rundown on how I build the scene that you guys saw at the beginning of the clip. As always you can always key your green screen in different uh, softwares including blender itself but again I'm going to do it in after effects. Now as you can see we have our clip on the project menu what we're gonna do is double click it so we can view and select the part of the footage that we want now i did already do this uh earlier so i might just play this and what we're gonna do is watch until we find a place where we will like so for example there then we're gonna hit this to toggle the endpoint then we're going to continue watching the, the clip as it runs and find where we'd like it to stop and click this other part that would indicate to After Effects that, that that's the area that we want. Then what we want to do is select our clip and drag it right here and create a new composition with it. Now, like I told you, uh, depending on how you light your green screen, you might need to create masks so that you can cut it out uh, different parts because different layers or different parts of the body might need different settings. So I'm just going to do a quick uh, rundown of how I did this. I created separate masks, one for the leg, one for up here and another one in the middle. You can also uh, do that. That's, it gives you, you know, uh, different ways of keying out different parts depending on how you know your lighting hit uh, your subject so I'm not going to you know go through it step by step but I will uh, show you a quick rundown of how I did it So one, once you do that, we have to create the environment with which, uh, where we're going to bring in our green screen. And as you can see, this is uh, the, the scene that uh, I put the, you know, the green screen on. And it's, it's really nothing you know, that insane or that incredibly insane. I knew what I wanted to, to get out of this. I knew how much of the environment I wanted to expose. And so I made sure that uh, the area that was going to be in view is what I modeled out. This is a duplicate of this, which is a model I got on Sketchfab. Uh, also, this is, is another model I got on Sketchfab. And all I did with this is you know animate the the y location to make it seem like you know it's moving so that's that's all i did for that particular train as you can see the character is right there in the middle and uh, i animated the camera as well just so we can move with her a little bit I added the, the Shakeify effect on the camera just to give it that natural, you know, human feel. But uh, that's about that's all I did for, you know, the train. As you can see, it animates its movement. That's all I did for the for the train. Uh, for the camera, it's it's as simple as you know setting the, the keyframes and then moving it slightly and then adding the Shakeify, uh, the Shakeify preset. So er everything you see here, uh, like the benches, I got I got this model from Sketchfab. So the uh, same place I got this uh, recycle bins just to help populate the scene a little bit uh, and stop it from being you know flat uh what else did i do oh uh, I, I i created this uh pavement 
to, to be the floor where everyone is standing on and it's not really anything special it's just a plane that i you know scaled out and then i added loop cuts on the end and then extruded those parts if i press tab you can see these parts all i did was add the loop cut on this end another one on this end and then select the, the faces if you press three select these faces and extruded them up uh i gave them a different material uh what else what else i duplicated the plane and then moved it up here for the ceiling which is where we have the ceiling again on the ceiling it's nothing you know incredibly special i added loop cuts i to insert e to extrude just to have that room where you know the lights could go if i you know go to a rendered view here for a while as you can see we have lights right up here we have lights which are just cylinders that i used and give them an emission uh texture uh, the, the the metal railing is another plane i created once you create the the you know the the plane you can add loop cuts then you select it you press tab go to go here to face once you go to face you can select wireframe and then there is a pop-up that comes you know down here and you can use to set the width and how thick you want your 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 you know your wire mesh railing uh to be so that's about what i did uh let's see let's see what else so the other thing that i did create was uh these pillars which uh i only created this ones uh the ones in front and then i added an uh array modifier and then you know uh, sp uh spread them on the y axis and it's basically just uh, a cube that i inserted and then extruded and then inserted again and then extruded again and then i then put this little you know cylinders if you if you press tab and you go to edit mode you can see you know these cylinders press tab like this press tab again uh, as you can see these cylinders I added them and then arranged them up and on the side as well. Then I duplicated this side and brought it to the other side. And that's that's about all that really went into creating you know this this train stop. Now I knew that most of uh, the place wouldn't be seen, so I didn't uh, you know feel a lot of space because I knew exactly the area that I wanted covered and so that's what I focused on and you can see this is all you really you know get to see and so that's the area where I put a lot of effort you can see the other train over here in the back you can get these models for free on sketchfab I just needed to cover that space a bit I know this upper part looked empty but it was going to be dark so no one was going to notice plus once that train you know passes that point you can barely see it and yeah that's about all that went into uh creating this you know this scene as for the the, the green screen footage once you have keyed out your footage all you want to do is come back to your 3d scene uh you know set your, your your point or where you want it to, to be imported by pressing shift and right clicking then you want to press shift a and then image and images as planes once you select this you you go back to where you have your green screen sequence which uh, is how i you know i i exported uh uh, the, the the green screen that we keyed out as you can see over here this is how I exported it as a PNG sequence so once you have your green screen sequence you just want to scroll down make sure all of it is there and select this make sure it's an animated sequence 
uh, material type, you can always change it. You can always change it, but I usually go with the mids. Uh, all of this you can change later anyway. And then you want to press import as planes. Now, uh, usually I put uh, a reference. So like a base human that when I model, just so I can see the height of how my character is going to be in the scene. But that's about all that went into creating, you know, this scene as you can see it uh, here. So in case you have any more questions, leave them in the description. Uh, anything you want me to clarify, leave it in the description. I'll go through it and Remember this, this, we rendered this in EV. You can always go to the cycles uh, in GPU compute if your computer can handle it for better lighting and better and realistic textures. But for this, it served the purpose. And so if you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections and I will see you guys on the next one.